The first thing that every family needs to make sure of is that their child or teenager has had their annual checkup. And make sure that your child is prepared and, and cleared to play in sports. The other thing you always want to make sure of is that your child's vaccines are up to date, that they've gotten their annual flu shot. Soon we'll be getting guidance on COVID boosters heading into the fall. Number two, making sure kids are ready for the back to school transition. So especially for younger kids, you want to show them the school that they're going to be going to if they've never seen it before. Talk to them about their teacher. For children who might be commuting to school, either walking or taking a bike, make sure that they know the path. Make sure you've practiced it with them so that they're safe. Number three, sleep. And this is especially important for teenagers. During the summertime, a lot of teens in particular will sleep in and they'll go to bed really late but they need to start resetting their clock so that they're ready to wake up for those classes when they go back that first week. You wanna make sure that kids and teens are going to bed at a consistent time every night, that they're waking up at a consistent time every morning and cutting back or eliminating altogether caffeinated beverages that they might've started to drink during the summertime. And that goes nicely with tip number four, screen time. Dr. Scott Hadland says now is the time to set expectations. You wanna make sure that there are certain times of day and certain locations in the home in which screens are not allowed so that you have some no phone zone time and make sure that phones are ideally out of the bedroom, particularly at bedtime. And finally, a tough one. Talk Talking about bullying. It's important that you talk to your teen and child about how to respond to a bully if they encounter one. They need to use firm language, let people know that it's not okay to bully, and that's including when they themselves are being bullied or if they see someone else being bullied, and that they should always report to a grown up what's going on. Yeah, very important stuff there. But back to limiting screen time for a minute. Dr. Hadland says uh, that charging all those devices in a central location at night out of the bedrooms is important so that the kids aren't distracted and picking them up when they should be sleeping. And yes, that goes for you too, mom and dad.